All right, guys, I'm back with a update on the Iron Horse Warrior 3.3. I recently started uh, noticing a creak when I was pedaling, and I didn't want to wait too long uh, before it got worse to check out what was going on. Uh, I traced the noise back down to the bottom pivot point. If you see here, I have the bike upside down. Um, and this is where the main pivot would be, the, the arm that connects to the, that the wheel connects to, I have right here, taken off. It actually goes upside down like this. What I've noticed is that the, there's no bearings in this. It's just a sleeve with kind of a plastic babbit bearing. What I was noticing was that the plastic babbit bearings are slightly worn and this was causing this was causing a little bit of side to side play like this because the hole is kind of bored out a little bit and the if you look here this is what this is what it rides on right here. So it's just metal on plastic and it just rolls on that. So what I'm going to do is on this guy, I'm going to add an extra layer of material to kind of stiffen that hole up. And I'm going to use just a little bit of uh, a soda can and hopefully that'll be enough material to, to stiffen that up. And it will give that metal something else to wear on besides the plastic. Um, I don't know where to get these other plastic grommets. So I am better off just using soda can that I can just easily replace if needed further down the road. So hopefully this is what my issue was. So here's the sleeve I've made. That should now write on that. Okay, so I have it all back together. I put the shim in place and got it all greased up. And the arm is moving fairly freely and it's very stiff. It doesn't have any up and down motion, no side to side play. So I do believe that Shim did the trick. So I'm gonna get it together and uh, give it a spin. Also, if anyone was curious of the rear pivot points, uh, they are brass babbit. So they are two piece. You can see the one still in the hole why I have the one in my hand. And just a metal pin right here. Just a metal pin uh, goes through through there and it rides on that. So I just make sure it's greased up real well. Uh, the first time I took this apart it was uh, bone dry. And you could actually see the sco scoring right here. from it not being properly lubed. I also want to point out that this pivot actually has a bearing. So it seems that this bike has a assortment of different uh, bearings. So uh, I do have the bike back together and it does seem that was the issue. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. And this bike probably has well over 600 miles of trail use, which I would think is a decent amount for a bike, especially a full, a cheap full suspension bike that was probably from a big box store. 
so if that's all it took was just a piece of soda can to fix it, uh, I'd say that's an easy fix. So this is the second year I've had it um, going on well within the season. And uh, I, I'm not disappointed at all by having to maintenance it. So...